It's the Brian and Kendra Show with Brian Cook and Kendra Cox of Keller Williams Realty Elite. I am Kendra Cox. I'm Brian Cook. Between the two of us, we have over 30 years of experience. Sharing real estate tips and advice right here on Classic Hits 107.3. Hey, thanks for listening. It's the Brian and Kendra Show. I'm Brian Cook, Keller Williams Realty Elite. I'm Kendra Cox, also Keller Williams Realty Elite. And today we have a guest and I'm super excited. Richard Burroughs from Sherwin Williams. You're in, I was going to say something about watching paint dry. Oh, it's going to be more exciting than watching paint dry? <laughs> well, how about listening to paint dry? Oh, that's well, what that we sounds sound like. even. <gasps> no, I think that our eight or nine listeners would say mm-hmm. that we're better than watching or listening to we'll paint dry. We'll see how many people. Okay, so we've got them. Richard Burroughs, mm-hmm. Sherwin Williams from our local Sherwin-Williams store. So you're a sponsor. We really appreciate your sponsorship. Thank you, and thank you ha- for having me on the show. No, Great. thank you. We're excited. Yes. Because um, we've got some fun things to talk about. Not just yellow doors, but those are going to come up, I'm yes. sure. <clears throat> so tell us a little bit about... Wait, wait, wait. almost forgot again. Oh, I have no. to talk about statistics. No, let's do announcements <clears throat> first. No. <laughs> um, see, I can be the boss every now and then. All right. <clears throat> so Once in a while, I do let you. <laughs> <laughs> so I've skipped it the last two weeks. I think I'll stay out of the middle of this. <laughs> yes, okay. Back on up. Yeah. It's okay. okay. I remember that he's the boss because he signs my checks. So okay. it's fine. <clears throat> Would you please go ahead? Yeah, thanks. It's okay. payday. <clears throat> it was. Okay. Um, so in the last, so May 14th was the last time on the radio I talked about statistics. Yeah, because somebody forgot to do their job. Okay. Um, somebody forgot to remind me their job. Um, 73 listings. <laughs> there were 73 listings. Today we have 95. So we have jumped 20% in inventory, okay? Uh, which isn't horrible, but it's not great. Um, there were 12 new listings this week, 13 new listings last, last week. Um, there's still, we were in like 34, 33 listings pending in Northwest Oklahoma. Now we're down to 28. <laughs> in Woodward, we were running 18, so all year it's been 18, 19, 19, 18, 18, 18. Today was this week was 17, so that's not bad. Number of closings in Woodward was six, which still last week was seven. The week before that was five. The week before that was six. That's good. Um, new pendings this week. There's only four. We closed six. Four new pendings. Zero have been withdrawn or expired this week, um, but our months of supply is 7.7. So healthy it needs to be two, three. Mm-hmm. Um, like in Oklahoma City right now, there's like one. Or less than one because they're selling as fast as they're listing, like multiple offers, multiple days. So seven is an unhealthy market. Um, it's kind of at the lower end. It says you got to get really aggressive. Your price is the main thing that's got to get aggressive when you're selling your house. So it looks like we're coming to a slight decline on the market. We just need to be watching. I think we'll. I think we've just had a weird slump after the COVID thing kind of released everybody in their business. It's busy funny. It, it's backward. I think than what a lot of us expected. Um, and and you did not slow down during the COVID quarantine fiasco like nope. i mean we were we were really slammed actually Probably, yeah. and and we've kind of i don't want to say that we're slow by any means but i we mean we sold two last week and i i i'm almost caught up and i only had to work half a day on saturday yeah. so i mean because remember i don't work on saturdays <laughs> that's okay right. that's why i could boss you around anyway um okay so one of the things that somebody had mentioned this week and um, the number of houses that we have on the woodward market and whenever you pull your numbers those are just woodward city so the 95 is woodward county Okay, Woodward, Woodward County, County, so including Moreland. Yes, including Moreland, Sharon Mutual, um, part of Fort Supply. Okay. But yes, so then I break that down to pending in Northwest Oklahoma and pending no, no. in Woodward. Pause. But, okay. Don't keep going into your numbers again, Brian. Yes. Just focus on where I'm going with us. Okay. Okay, so they were talking about how 90 seems like a whole lot, especially when we've, we've been staying so steadily in the 70s. Right. Um, but I remember when I started working for you, we had gotten all the way up to like 120. Do you remember? Yep, 121 listings is the most I've seen. And things were still selling, and they were still selling at good prices. So it's not really time to panic yet. Do you agree with me? Correct. Like, I think it's still okay. If you're, if you're thinking about selling your house, I think this is still a decent time to get your house on the market. We just want to make sure that we price right mm-hmm. and that we really look at what we're going to be competing against. Do you agree? Right. Yes. Do you want to change anything I just said? Nope. I mean, you can. That's fine. No. I'm good. Sweet. Okay. I'm right this time. Mm-hmm. Okay, so I am, um, oh, hey, Beth. Um, Beth Baker says that Jack says to tell you hi, Richard. Hello, Jack. Awesome. <laughs> like, you have follow. like, nobody's like, hey, Kendra, what's going on? So it's all about you today, Richard. It's you. That, that's good. I'm He's ready. like, of course I'm, it is. I'm ready. Why Bring wouldn't it, it be? Okay, so um, here we are. I have, I'm excited about this. Tomorrow night, 
Like all these oh, people. Yeah. yeah, I know it's going to be fun. Okay, so Woodward Main Street, we had Sarah Viverka on a few weeks ago because we really like to promote our local yes. um, our local people. So Woodward Main Street, and I think this is kind of co-sponsored or maybe sponsored by Stevenson Insurance Agency. Yes. Is that right? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yes. So, um, super cool food truck wars, and it's going to be all up and down Main Street. So please go out and support that and have fun with that. Yes. Um, and then, like, here's what I need, though. Like, you know, I don't have, like, my family isn't going to go with me. I need people who are like, Kendra, we're going to do this food truck, and just let me eat off your plate. Like, that's all I need. <laughs> it's just a little bite from a few different family all. groups. Yes. See? It would be perfect. So if your family needs a tag along, I'm your girl. Yes. I'm totally your girl, right? And then Branson, gets, can I join you and your wife? Yes. Thank you, Branson said even, yes. And then it gets crazier because even the restaurants are having food truck specials. Yes, awesome, sweet, wonderful. So that yeah. sounds like fun. There's going to be food everywhere. Okay, and then um, some of the stores are going to have some sidewalk sales too. Yes. And then down by Larry Hill. Yes. Um, he's going to have like, I don't know, that's just Larry, but there's going to be a really cool, um, a really cool art walk that's happening so um so you guys got to get Sweet. down there between 5 and 10 p.m yes so it'll be great okay all right tomorrow. that sounds like fun i can't wait do you want to go ahead and hit um sponsors real quick let's do a sponsor break okay and we'll be right back cover zone is a multi-generational company serving northwest oklahoma in commercial and residential needs plumbing air conditioning heaters refrigeration sewer and drain cleaning backhoe trencing and crane service and they are your geothermal specialists Contact them at 580-254-5864 or stop by 116 East Main Street. It's the five hours you spend in the kitchen mastering your famous recipe or spending quality time with your family. Other insurance companies may just see it as a house. It's not just a house, it's your home. Hi, I'm State Farm Agent Kevin Kanzler and I see your home as the time and memories you put into them. I understand what your things really mean to you, and I'm here to help give them the protection they deserve. My office is located on the corner of 13th and Oklahoma and Woodward to call me at 580-256-2216 for your home insurance today. On Point Land Survey can take care of all your residential, commercial, and industrial survey needs. This family-owned and operated business proudly serves Northwest Oklahoma and Southwest Kansas. These lifelong Northwest Oklahoma residents with over 19 years of experience are ready to serve you with the latest equipment and capable trucks to get your job done. Call On Point Land Survey today at 580-256-6757 or at 1918 Main Street in Woodward, Oklahoma, or visit their website at onpointlandsurveyok.com. Professional. Trusted. Local. This is Todd McHugh and Jackie Jones with Woodward County Abstract, Dewey County Abstract, and Fairview Abstract. I would like to thank everyone in Woodward and Northwest Oklahoma for choosing us for their real estate title and closing needs this past year. We will be offering new services in 2020, including bilingual closings, internet closings, and digital abstracting. We look forward to making real estate closings faster, simpler, and more efficient for you in the future. We want to thank you for your continued support and business. Hi, I'm Connie Rowland in the Mortgage Department at Bank 7. Bank 7 is a full-service bank with over 40 years of combined experience. Melinda Russo and I are a dynamic duo team committed to making your loan process smooth. With a variety of loan products, we would love to sit down with you and discuss your loan options in person or we offer online and over-the-phone application processing. The Woodward Branch is located at 34th in Oklahoma. Find us online at mortgage.bank7.com, on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and LinkedIn. Bank 7 is an equal house. Housing lender in MLS 677-297, phone 580-254-0100, where our best investment is you. Okay, we're back. <laughs> okay, so we were just talking. We've got a giveaway. Yes. Um, so and we're going to do it twice. So one for the, would you wait, like one text from the radio? Right. So a, te- a radio, I'm sorry, like I just, bloop, bloop. I've been doing this all day today and we've been a little bit worried about it because <laughs> it's not been going well. My... <laughs> Uh, my English yeah. is just struggling. Okay, so um, so we're going to do a giveaway for our radio listeners, two gallons of paint. Yes. And then we'll do another giveaway for the um, Facebook. Facebook people. Thank you, Brian. Do you want to take it from here? No, go ahead. <laughs> okay, so. I, this is fun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is great. My face is getting so red. Right. It's just really warm in here, that's all. Okay, so um, what you have to do to win your two gallons of paint um, the first person to text me from the radio, 580-216-0090, and you have to text me yellow door. Okay, yes. and so first people from um, Facebook world, you have to Facebook message really fast or whatever, do the little comment thing on our live here, 
yellow door and the first person to say yellow door will win. So, okay, that's it. We're ready. Richard, are you ready to go? I think yes. so. Okay. First things first. Oh, Brian, you just gave me the look. Do you want to go first? first? No. Okay. Well, you, I, this is, this is my question. Like okay. I've been dying to ask this all day. What color were you the most excited to see leave? Like, I mean, were you like, Oh, thank God I'm not selling okay. that color anymore. Come you on, know, tell it, me. It wasn't necessarily purple. It was purple. Not purple. Oh, okay. And not yellow doors. No. <laughs> um, probably, I have a winner. Pro I already have a yellow door. Holy. Sean Reed, you're the yellow door winner. What? Wow. Awesome. Fast. Thank Dang. you. Okay. Not yellow doors. What else? Um, Tell me. And it might have been more a product than a color, but glaze, glaze on walls. Oh. That was that was a trend for, for quite some time. Um, yes. I probably sold glaze on walls with 70% of, of the interior paint I sold. Yeah. So we were we were kind of happy to see that go away. And that was a lot it of work just, to paint over. Like, I don't it, even, it, it was. It, that, I never found. I never loved that trend. Mm -hmm. It was very popular. It was yes. a very big trend. And reds, reds aren't nearly as popular as they had been. Yes. So they were right. kind of nice I mean, to see something like, different. I, mean, I don't know if I like red, but I should wear red now. <laughs> <laughs> we, I did have. I, I had tried. one wall painted red one time, and I remember whenever we moved out of that house. I remember I felt really bad about it. Like I felt bad for leaving that red wall, but there was no way on earth I was yes. going to go I back over. I do have a it. red front door. I did not pick it. You do Mine have a red, red front door at mm -hmm. your house. Yes. And of course, we know I have a yellow front door. And I should paint it blue. And and it's not all not bad. Mine. It's just it was so so large and so prominent that yes, you you kind of just get tired of seeing oh, the man. same the same thing. Yes. Absolutely. Okay, so, um, and I'm making all these funny comments too, but I always, I mean, I like the colors whenever they're there, but then later on, and that's what we were talking about earlier is, um, so in our business, there are certain colors that we hear people be like, oh no, it's that horrible. Forest and I'm not, nope, yeah. don't say it. I love forest green. Okay, me too. I love greens of all <laughs> shades. I don't want anybody to feel bad. Hey. Like, I mean, I love my yellow door, but I've had multiple people forest be like, carpet what on earth are you doing? It's true. It's not the trend, okay. but that doesn't mean it's wrong if you love your home. No, you can but if you're color. going to sell it, you might reconsider. For instance, yes. the house I bought had what color car carpet? <laughs> was it like pink or purple? It was that. It was one of those weird shades. Yes, like pink, I think. It, I know this. The walls weren't really pink, but by the time that the carpet reflected on those walls, yeah, they looked pink. pink. It's not pink <clears throat> now. The inside of the house is also not yellow. If you were worried. Yeah, I was not. <clears throat> I have a lot of faith in you. <laughs> you do? Yes. Yeah. Okay, so here's how this goes down. Um, Sherwin-Williams, you guys have really, uh, actually, this Woodward store has been amazing because um, cause I'm, I'm not good with colors, and then I've chosen colors a number of times and got them home thinking they were going to be this lovely creamy shade mm -hmm. and paint them and they actually turned yellow yeah. that's why i had to go super bright on that front door because yeah. i was like dang it i gotta get this yellow out of my system okay so i go in i tell you guys what i'm doing and and somebody i mean because you've got a great you've got a great crew i i, I do I, i'm i'm very lucky I've, I've got a really experienced staff i've mm -hmm. and even my my employees i have that aren't as experienced are they're really good. They really care about helping people they do. and helping you find the right color and, and something you want. Yes. It, and here's one of the things I love because I'm dumb. I mean, I'm like, I don't know what this paint thing, I don't know. So they're asking me, what are you doing? Is this, you know, like Jason, I remember he was like, you really need this for your baseboards. And I'm thinking, do I really have to do my baseboards? Like, I mean, he did a great job of showing me which thing for which thing. So, all right, Brian, take it away. Let's what? talk about paint types. Oh, okay. Well, first I was going to ask, what is your title here in town? I'm the sure. store manager store of, the, manager. of the local facility. And Sherwin-Williams has been around a couple of years? We've been in Woodward, Jason and I were figuring today, 56 years. 56 years. And so Sherwin-Williams is older than that. Say that one more time. 56 years. The store of Woodward is 56 years? Yes. But Sherwin-Williams is how old? 18? 100 and something probably 150 years about old. almost 155 years yeah so it's, yeah. it's been around they kind of know paint so um pretty exciting so yeah i, I was kind of reading through the history of sean williams and i thought whoa that thing's been around for a long time for oklahoma so even so yes so we are experienced and rocking so um so paint type so um i mean i came in your store and bought like 16 different sample paint colors for my office. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Eight, 18, I believe. 18. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for the record. Um, and then what's funny is, is I got opinions from all these people and I had them kind of like, oh, this is the one Gary thought and this is the one my wife thought and this is the one so-and-so thought. And then 
I just went and picked out something completely different and painted it. Oh, I bet you were in so trouble. So they all think they picked the paint. Oh, that's I just gave away my secret. You're Carrie in trouble now. Carrie did a good now. job. Carrie did a good job. See, I just <laughs> made everybody think they did it. Richard, he never asked me. <laughs> I, Not one time. He didn't ask me. That's so rude, isn't it? <laughs> I might have. But we started a trend. The favorite blue of the world is what today? Naval. Which is the color of the my color, building. And it's the Sherwin Williams color of 2020. See, we're geniuses. Right off the bat. I love it. Okay, so, so here's a question. Do I have to paint my ceiling with a different paint type than I paint my walls? You don't have to. Why do I want to? I mean, I don't. That's I'm like, I'm for reals. So you tell me why it's important for me to paint. Because I did. I did the right thing, but I didn't like it. Well, it's, it's really more of a preference. Um, really? Your, your ceiling paints are generally going to be, I'm very... Yes, yeah, fine. do it. And if you um, hit the mic, you're just like me. I okay, practiced. just now, Radio World, he um, said he talks with his hands, and you can't see it, so I know you're disappointed, but it's all cool. It's Talk quite a show, though. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Anyway, ceiling paints are, are generally flat finishes. Mm -hmm. um, white is the most common ceiling paint, but you don't have to do that. I've, I've had people paint high-gloss red on their ceiling. It, it's, it's just a matter of what you want <laughs> preference-wise. I personally prefer the clean, mm -hmm. the clean look of the flat white ceiling, the bright white. Why, why is the flat what we generally put on ceilings, though? Is there a reason for that? There's, that way there's, there's less, less reflection, glare. Less, <gasps> less glare and reflection. I got it. I'm glad I did the right thing. Okay, so one of the things I was reading today, because you have to read about how to paint before you can have a paint guy on your radio program, um, and it recommended, it said that you could paint your ceiling the same color as you paint your walls. What do you think about that? I've done that before in like my it? in my own home. Mm -hmm. I, I did, but then when I repainted everything, I went back to all flat white <laughs> ceilings. I, I just, You're just I kind just, of a creature of habit. I, I just you? like the crisp, the that crisp line. break, and mm -hmm. I get it. I get it. Okay, what's next? Okay, so um, I interrupted you on paint types. No, I know we're talking about paint Sorry. types. Um, I just got excited because there's all kinds of paint types. So there's like. Can you name them all? Is there like just like six, or is there like more than six? What, what, uh, what, what are you, as far as the sheens? Yes, yeah, sheens, different sheens. <clears throat> if, if you want to talk about sheens and finishes, there there are three most common ones. They're flat, satin or eggshell, which in Sherwin Williams line are the same, and semi gloss. Um, those are the three most common. If you go to my store and you look at my interior paint products, there's a, a sheen chart that has nine different interior sheens that we have in different products oh, wow. that that all that all fit a different niche for yes. for for people exterior or flat satin satin being the most prevalent in this area and gloss um wow i, I do believe those are the only three gloss. i'm really really glad that you said in this area because so what we really do is not play on the radio we really sell houses um, and it's important that we pay attention not just to national trends, but also just to our local trends. And, and you've said that a couple of times this evening, just in visiting back and forth um, in this area or our current market. Um, and so it's important that whenever customers come in that, that they hear you say, um, what you see on Pinterest may not be what we see in Woodward. Right. A lot, a lot of stuff that you'll see on the east and west coast. Hasn't hit a, us yet. A lot of it eventually does mm -hmm. filter into the middle of the country, but it takes a long time. Right. Um, there's just a lot of different things. You get, you get on the east and west coast, particularly the east coast, mm -hmm. and walls walls are flat. There's no texture. Right, um, which I love. And, and you come out here, and we're generally a pretty heavily textured <laughs> part of the country as right. far as walls go, which changes a lot of things. Mm -hmm. It can change, change your finishes and everything else. Well, I like that you said that because I think that's important for us to remember. And I think, um, and it shows again, the value that you have even for our sellers whenever they're getting ready to sell and they come in that, that you can kind of give them some of that insight and um, that maybe their realtor has been able to share with them or maybe they haven't even spoken with a realtor yet and so you're able to give some insight about those current trends so that they can be in line because our buyers are looking for those trends and we do we you know we we see the trends we see what's selling so and we'll have people come and say hey i'm, I'm going to put my house on the market mm -hmm. and what kind of color do you think i should paint it and right and we can guide them and direct them Again, I have a great staff, so it, it makes all that it makes all that very easy. I, I can't say that enough. Absolutely. Cool. Well, we got a cool tool that we use. I love this tool so much. <clears throat> okay, so um, I really have painted my house and my other house too. So whenever I moved into my current house, I had just helped finish painting my other house, and I moved into this one, and it needed 
it needed paint inside, outside, everywhere side. It was really, it wasn't in bad condition, but if I didn't take care of it quickly, that's one of the things I've learned in real estate is, is that paint is not just pretty and paint is for property preservation as well. And so I needed to get some paint on the outside to keep it fresh and keep it from deteriorating. Um, on the inside, I just had some personal preference differences from what was on my walls. So here's what I did. The outside, I loved the colors that the guy had already painted it. Um, but I but I couldn't quite match it. So you have a couple of different ways that I can match paint. So let's talk about those. I, I told you I used the color scan. The color snap? Color Col snap. Yeah, I say it wrong every time. You say it. You tell us about it. <laughs> Sorry. <clears throat> no, you're, no, you're fine. It's, it's, it's the color snap app. It, well, there's app, a color snap a, app and there, it's a tool. there's a tool that, that we sell. It, you can you can scan your scan your. It's color. hard to describe, isn't it? It reminds me of a film canister. Yeah, Anybody that's under what the it looks like. It's about the size of a film canister. <laughs> you can scan Branson, your color. back in the old days, we had film and cameras. <laughs> okay, all right. So you take your little film canister and and you've Bluetoothed it to your phone mm -hmm. and you scan it and it will tell you the closest closest color. Um, it, it has star ratings as far right. as which color is the best. It'll do a lot of other little things that most people including me when I when I use it I there's a couple things I can look at it'll tell me how mm -hmm. different it is if I how different what I scanned is from the color even oh interesting gotcha. I didn't so if it's know faded that a little bit so yeah I, I, I can look at the, <clears throat> at the the percent of difference or, or how how far it perceives it to be off from that color. so here's what I found so I I was I mean I'm kind of like uh, it's just fun. So I, I played with that little tool all over the outside of my house in different places in the shade and the sunshine. And then I kind of took the one that seemed to be the most prominent um, scan that was showing up. And so then, um, where was I? I don't even know where I was going. This. So I go in, I buy my paint. There were places whenever I was painting that you couldn't tell where I'd put the fresh paint. Like I literally was standing there thinking, oh my gosh, I have no idea <laughs> where I started <laughs> painting. <laughs> yes, it was pretty awesome. Um, and then there were other places, of course, that had faded considerably and so the fresh paint was obvious. But, um, but dang, it was really, really awesome. But if I wanted to be even more precise, you have a different tool. So I would, how, what do I do? What, which is what a lot of people do. They'll, they'll bring us in a sample, at least the size of a quarter, and, and preferably smooth. And, we, mm -hmm. and we've got a photo spectrometer at our store that we can scan it with. Um, more accurate than, than the little sure. the color snap tool. But well, uh, I think you mentioned earlier it's like a $4,000 machine yeah, it's, compared to it's, like the $60 or $70 right, it's, 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 film canister <laughs> looking thing. So I hope it would be more. <laughs> but we, and we do that quite often. We, we do a lot of matches, mm -hmm. people. Mm -hmm. I had like to match some for me this week. Monday morning, I came in <laughs> and I brought it in. You're like, that's interior paint. I was trying to paint the outside of the house. I grabbed this can. I looked up the house. I thought, that looks like the same color. And I took it in. You're like, I think that's interior paint. Just trying to save it you from the last minute It just now occurred to me trouble. what you yes. really did. And then I went. In my mind, he actually brought you paint from the outside, but he didn't even bring you the right paint, did he? Yeah. Oh, my gosh. No. And then, so I went back and I, <laughs> there's a uh, electrical thing that was painted, overspray paint. I thought, oh, great, I'll just rip that off. So I took it up there and you matched it. And I, when I got back to paint it, I thought the house was all one color. It's not. It is not one color. But like dang, it looks good now. Yeah, it's like, what the <laughs> heck? Well, I thought those were like, I thought there was just like a faded yellow, but no, it's two different colors of yellow. Whatever. <laughs> I actually got an accident wall now. <laughs> it's awesome. So, so great customer service. Yeah. That was awesome how that works. Okay. Um, somebody <clears throat> actually just asked, so you can think about this while we get into a little more content, but somebody asked Amanda, who was actually my text winner from the radio. Um, she said, what is the worst color you have seen in or out of a home? Do you have a story about it? Do you have something oh, that you've sold that you're like, oh my gosh, Weren't I cannot believe. we just in a house believe. that had like the craziest paint colors in the world? Didn't we tour one Wednesday? Didn't we tour one? Oh, 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 purple. Purple. And it's more like weird. lavender. I don't know. I mean, they, oh, they were, I, I was, it, I, it's happening again. Yes. <laughs> it was, I don't know what they were thinking, <laughs> but they need this gift certificate. They do, paint. but it's they too need. bad they can't have it because we've already got Sean and Amanda. Already started. Okay. Sweet. All right, so. We need um, to have a break. What about, oh, we have to do a break? Yes. Oh, Richard, we're running out of time. We'll be right back. Homeowners and business owners. 
Do you want to know how to extend the life of your home or commercial building? Call APC LLC in Woodward. APC specializes in installing high quality, five inch and six inch seamless guttering and custom commercial guttering. Whether it's a small system or a large system, APC can help. Call APC LLC at 580-571-2384. That number again is 580-571-2384 for all your seamless gutter needs. Our home is usually our largest investment and we insure it against damage. One unseen destructive force not covered by most insurance policies is termites, which can infest a house for years before being detected. Termites cost U.S. homeowners an estimated $5 billion annually in treatment and repairs. Using the Centricon Termite Bait System, JCP Services can protect your home from the threat of a termite infestation. Call 580-334-5380. Again, 580-334-5380. Stop in to Modern Appliance on Main Street today to see powerful Maytag brand kitchen appliances available in a finish inspired by cast iron. Cast iron black is a hardworking matte finish that is as tough as it is timeless, so you can trust it to help resist scratches while helping hide fingerprints and minor dents and stand up to the everyday. Add an iconic look to your home with cast iron black kitchen appliances from Maytag brand. See it at Modern Appliance, 2102 Main or online at modernappliancewoodward.com. For 150 years, Sherwin-Williams has been an industry leader in the development of technologically advanced paint and coatings. As the nation's largest specialty retailer of paint and painting supplies, Sherwin-Williams is dedicated to supporting both your do-it-yourselfers and painting professionals with exceptional products. Resources to make confident color selections and expert personalized service that's focused on your unique project needs. Sherwin-Williams is your neighborhood paint store. Stop by and see them, 2101 Oklahoma Avenue. Or call them, 580-256-5861. Hey, we're back to the Brian and Kinder Show with Richard Burroughs from Sherwin-Williams. And one of the things we're going to talk about is return on investment. So paint, to hire someone to paint the outside of your house is about what money on a $150,000, 2,000 square foot house? Gosh, that's that's kind of a hard like, number. Five, you can spend five or 6000 probably pretty easy. I think we've done that before, about 5000 <laughs> <laughs> um, And so... Just to buy the paint, though. So, so the, all these guys who are off work trying to maintain their homes and, and catch up on all the honeydew lists. What would it cost to just buy just the paint and you're, tools? You know, you're going to spend maybe twenty percent of that. So yeah, you're. Maybe and, that and that's go. not to uh, right try to discourage right people from using painters, but that, right. that's that's the easiest, quickest way to to freshen up your property. Right. So return on investment. So statistics say we have a little deal here that talks about statistics. Um, this is quite a ways back, but still it-, it <laughs> I know it's funny you knew it was gonna happen, didn't you? Bring back statistics. Brian and statistics. So <laughs> it says if you spend, it's a 55% um, return on investment on interior and a 107% return on exterior. So man, if I gave you if I gave you $1,000, would you like to have a $2,000 return? Yes, absolutely. So, um, we, and we believe it. I mean, you see, a fresh paint job allows, makes it look sharper, um, smells fresher inside. There's, I mean, it, it's a lot cleaner. It's a ready, ready to rock and do. So, um, that's a big deal to me. Uh, the other thing is, it's just um, customer service. I want to bring it back to that. We're probably not going to get to this. But it was a customer question. Oh, primer versus primer before paint. Yes, we had paint. a listener who wants to know the importance of primer ver primer before paint. Wow, that's a long conversation. Right there. Boy, boy, that is. In I, a nutshell, do I need it, to do it or don't I? It, there are primers, and and they make them for a reason. That's Sherwin Williams has a line of fifty primers. Mm -hmm. uh, every other company has a line of primers, and that's because they they all do a job. There are paint and primers in one, which are a little bit of a to me, a, a misnomer because they're, they're surfaces that still need primed. Mm -hmm. And I'll tell you if you come in, if it's something that needs it or not. I mean, right. we'll, we'll, we'll oh, be... Oh, perfect. So talk we'll to you about be, it again. We'll always be fair and honest. There, there are just times that you really do need to prime something, and there are times that you can get by without it. Right. And there's a million. So I've painted a lot of stuff in my life. <laughs> um, and so I bought a lot of paint. And so I just know, so my main preface here today is, is the customer service here at Sean williams is outstanding. Um, I still don't, like, I learn things, but, like, I don't feel like I have to learn all the paint stuff because I just walk in and say, like, all right. Exactly. Gonna, I just say, what do I do? I'm going to paint my brick today. What do I need to do? And you're like, do this. Or I come in here with strange questions, like, I'm going to paint an aluminum-sided mobile home. 
I have no idea what to do with that. Or vinyl siding. How often do you get to paint vinyl siding? So there's things you paint, pool paint, all kinds of paint. Some of the stuff you got a special order we've discussed because you don't just keep it in stock. But we want to thank you, Richard, for coming in. Yes. Thank you for having me. And uh, we'll hear you next week on the Brian and Kendra Show. Thanks for listening. See you next time. Your new favorite, Classic Hits 107.3 KLSI Moreland Woodward. Tell a friend.